Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to connect Google Analytics with Google Tag Manager. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to access tagmanager.google.com. In this case, go ahead and access that and log in. Now, once in here, there are going to be a few things that you need to do first. Now, here in the overview section, you should see your code here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And what we need to do here is you first have to include the following code into your website first. So in this section, you need to include this to the headings here. And from here, this section here, you need to include this in the body. Now, in this case, go ahead and add that. And once you've added that, you can go ahead and click on the preview section here. Now, once the preview here actually boots up, you should be able to basically add a URL of your website here and just click on connect and you should be able to connect your website. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do here is we now want to go to analytics. Now here in analytics, what we need to do is we need to go to analytics.com, log in into your account. And in this case, I'll be showing you how to create a new account first. So at the bottom left here, click on admin. And under admin, we need to click on the create button at the top right and choose account. Now under, under account, we need to enter a account name here. So maybe I want to include this name here. Just to give you an example. And we also have to change a few things like the account data sharing settings. Now, if you agree to those, just click on next. And once you've done that, it's going to ask you for the property details. So create property. Now in this case, a property is going to be the following. So this is, an, this is just an example. And the reporting time zone here, you can go ahead and choose that. So in this case, you can go ahead and just type in whatever uh, time zone you want to use here. So in this case, I'm going to use this one. And I'm also going to use the currency that we see here. And from here, just click on next. Now here, you also have to describe your business. So maybe, maybe it'd be a small, medium, large, or very large. And you also have the industry. Now, for example, I want to say this for arts and entertainment and a small company. Just click on next. From here, choose your business objective. So Jerry leads. So choose that applies for your business. Now from here, just click on create. Now from here, it's going to give you the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. Now with any platform that you're signing up or getting into, make sure that you read through all the terms here and the uh, privacy here. So in this case, go ahead and read that and accept all the terms here. Once done, just click on I accept. Now from here, the next page is going to be data collection. So we need to choose a platform. So let's go ahead and choose web here. And once you've chosen web, what we need to do next is we need to enter our website. So let's go ahead and over, go to our website here and enter our website. So in this case, once you've entered that, we need to choose our stream name here. So by the way, if you see this in value website, you can go ahead and just replace this with www. And as you can see, it's going to be accepted. And maybe I want to say this is going to be this one and enter that. And from here, once you've done that, go ahead and click on create stream. So in here, we need to fee, uh, basically view a few settings in our account. Now in this case, we need our measurement ID as well as our tag ID. Now in this case, go ahead and go to configure tag settings here in your screen. And once you've done that, you should be able to see your tags. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to basically view our tags here. So let's go ahead and click on our tag here and basically copy our tag ID for later use. Now in this case, let's go ahead and copy our tag here. And once you've done that, we want to go ahead and go back to tag manager. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to tab tags section and we want to create a new one. In this case, you could go ahead and enter a tag name here. So I'm going to say this is going to be GA for Google Analytics and click on the tag configuration section. In this case, we need to choose Google Analytics here and use Google Tag. And from here, we need to enter our tag ID. Now, in this case, once you've entered that, go ahead and click on the save button at the top right to save your changes. But also, you also have to add triggers, so click on add triggers. Now, in this case, we want to choose all pages here. And once you've done that, click on save again at the top right to save your changes. Now, from here, click on the submit button at the top right and click on publish at the top right again. Now, from here, it's going to ask you to enter your version description. So maybe I want to say it is going to be a test and test but if, if you want to skip this one you go ahead and click on skip and from here it's going to say stand by while we publish your version 
uh, in this case we have successfully published this one now if you want to view your data head over to analytics.google.com and from here you want to go to reports and under reports you should be able to see this section here wherein you'll be able to see real time and report snapchat now, if you've successfully set up your account here or the steps here you've done accepts are uh, really good or you've set them there properly, you should be able to see your data here. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.